Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Melissa, the owner of Cali Meats NYC, a home fragrance business based in Newark, New Jersey. If you're a candle maker like me, then you're probably obsessed with fragrance oil. So I'm bringing to you today a fragrance oil haul from Porter Candle Supply. They're based out of Austin, Texas, and I actually um, met Johanna, the owner, via Clubhouse about a year and a half ago. So I've been corresponding with her for a year and a half. But I bought all of these fragrance oils myself. These are from their, her, their latest collection. Um, so their latest two collections. I've been buying their fragrance oil for a while. Um, most of my oils are from a plethora of companies and I personally love complex fragrance oils and hers are it. So I'm very, very much obsessed with them. So let's get into it. I did open the box. These are a first sniff. The only thing I did was take off the pink electrical tape that comes wrapped around them. So I bought two ounce samples. So I'll go ahead and go with one from her July launch. So I picked, I actually picked up a few fragrance oils from her July launch and I started testing them. But this one, um, it kind of caught my eye. It's called Scandinavian Oak. And I'm going to give it a little sniff. Oh my gosh. This smells really, really good. Okay. I, like, I can't even describe what it is. Um, but I'm going to read off the fragrance note. Uh, the top notes are citron, amber, oud, wood, jasmine, tonka. Well, excuse me. The middle notes are oud, wood, jasmine, tonka, bottom, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Oh, this smells. This smells heavenly. It's a very woodsy scent, but it's it it's very unisex. So it's something that can be, man, oh, this would be, this would be a really nice candle, man. So I'm in the middle of trying to add more um, room sprays to my line. So I'm always trying to find more room sprays to add. Um, this might be something I might try. I'm also looking for fragrances for body butter, so that's why I'm buying a lot of fragrances um, to try out. That smells so good. Okay, so here is Tiger Lotus Ginkgo. Yeah, Tiger Lotus Ginkgo. Um, and this is a part of, she has like different collections, so this is, part of her bougie hotel smells. And I really love that collection a lot. Um, and this was a part of the August launch. Oh, wow. Oh, this smells so, so good. Okay, the top notes are fresh, aqueous, cool. Green palms, the middle notes are coconut water. <laughs> I can't even pronounce this. I'm gonna put it on the screen because I do not want to butcher that name. Watermelon, I do smell the watermelon. Um, the bottom notes are sea moss, driftwood, and amber. This, um, this smells nice and soft and just very bougie. Oh, this smells beautiful. So that was Tiger, Lotus, and Ginkgo. Um, the next one 
is also from the August launch in a part of her Bougie Hotels collection. It is Bergamot and Sea Salt. Now, Bergamot is one of the, the scents a lot of my customers really love. I'm really hoping that I love this one. Oh my gosh. I smell citrus right off the bat. It, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so complex. It doesn't smell like I thought it was going to smell. I thought it was going to smell very oceany, but it doesn't. Um, the top notes are orange peel, bergamot. Middle notes are wet moss, um, spring water. Bottom notes are sea salt, musk, and ocean mist. And it smells heavenly. That might be a really, really good room spray for me. My room sprays are my number one seller. My, my customers are always asking for more. And um, I'm trying to figure out what room what fragrances I should add to my room spray collection. Um, that might be a really good addition. Wow, okay, okay. This was also a part of her August launch. It's her lemon gra lemongrass green tea. Um, and I smell the lemongrass I smell definitely the green tea off the top. I smell a little musk. It smells, it's very soft. It's very soft. It kind, kind of reminds me of a scent that I had in my collection and I just pulled because it didn't do well. And it's not to say that it wasn't a good scent. And this isn't a good scent. It's really good. It just didn't do well for my customer base. But this is a softer version of the one I had. The one I had was like a honey and green tea type of thing. Um, but it had a very, very similar notes. The top notes in this are bergamot, lemon, garden mint, lemongrass. Middle are green tea, rose. Uh, that word again. I'm going to put it on the screen. Bottom, um, lily, amber, moss, and violet. It smells really heavenly. It's very soft um, tea fragrance. And that is the lemon, lemongrass green tea. Um, not sure about this for my collection, but it smells really good, especially if your customers love tea. Um, it would be really good for like a spa um, type of thing. Let's see. So we're going to do one more. I forgot. I had one more from her July collection that I, I just picked up. Um, and the, and I wasn't going to pick this one up and it was, it's because a lot of people have been raving about it. So I had decided to pick it up. It is her chocolate souffle. And, um, she, Johanna, like I watch a lot of her lives on Instagram, um, on Porter Candle Supply, and she has talked about this fragrance and how much it smells like brownie batter. And I'm like, I don't want a candle that smells like brownie batter, but having body butter that smells like brownie batter would be amazing. So. I'm excited about this. Oh my, oh my gosh. This is the best chocolate I've ever smelled. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. It smells just like brownie batter. I cannot wait. This is going, oh, this is definitely going to be in, in body butter. Oh, this is definitely going to be in body butter. It smells so good. So, so good. So good. The top notes are citron, 
zest, vanilla extract, brownie, the middle notes are brownie bites, hot cocoa, um, and brown sugar. Bottom notes are sprinkled sugar, rich dark, dark chocolate, and musk. It smells amazing. I have to smell it one more time. I can already see this being like a top seller for body butter. I have not launched my body butter yet. I've gotten my formula perfected and now I'm trying to figure out fragrances to add, which is the easier part um, for body butter. Um, so, oh. this one, this one is it. Yep, that one's getting added into the Body Butter collection. Um, so, let's go back to the August. So, we have Sugared Dates Bourbon. This one actually just launched last week, and I'm so excited. One, because she describes it as like a, a really good transitional scent for fall to winter. That transition time, because it's not like a true fall fragrance, it's not a true winter fragrance. So it's really like the middle of the, the pack, if you know, if you will. Um, let's see if we can get the notes up. I'm excited because I really want to include this in um, in my winter candle collection. Oh. Oh. This is... This is sweet, masculine, smoky... Spicy, I smell a little herbal, like, this is wonderful. You know, this could also, this could also be a really good cologne. Okay, so the top notes are honeyed figs, plum, wild currant, Middle notes are oak aged bourbon, sweet dates, and date sugar. The bottom notes are vanilla bean, brown sugar cubes, and vetiver. And I love vetiver. I love any fragrances that have vetiver in it. Oh, and it smells, it smells heavenly. And I think that's the, like the grassy notes that I was thinking of, like the herbal. Um, I can't wait to test this on a candle. That would be really good. Okay, so what also came out um, last week is a part of her milk tea collection. And um, Johanna and I, we've talked about this because I too am obsessed with bubble tea. I My addiction started about 15 years ago and I, I got my husband addicted to bubble tea. So now we... We probably have bubble tea at least like once or twice a week. And if you don't know what it is, um, you're missing out. Um, and it's, it's just heavenly. Um, my roommate, Alex, actually got me addicted in, um, back in college. And now I just have it all the time, I feel like. And I actually want to order some now. No, I'm thinking about it. Well, this is her brown sugar bubble tea. Her, the first part of this collection was the pistachio and milk, milk tea. And I got that fragrance oil and it smells very beautiful in a candle. And I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I really want to use it in, in a collection in something. Um, this. I'm thinking to do in body butter because I think because of the sweetness that it might be really, really good in body butter. Um, I did get uh, brown sugar 
um, bubbles here from another company and it smells good, but it's not, I'm, I, it's not as complicated as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. And I think this one is going to be complicated. Oh my God. It smells like, okay. So if you've ever had bubble tea or if you ever made bubble tea, this smells like the pearls. So bubble tea are like the tapioca pearls. And when you make them after you boil them and then you, you have to mix them with syrup. So you mix them with like a brown sugar syrup that you make this is what that smells like and it smells so beautiful and it's like oh it, it just smells like this syrupy goodness but it's hard to explain if you you've never if you've gone to a bubble tea shop that smell that you smell this is what this fragrance oil smells like Okay, so the top notes are raspberry pieces, light balsamic drizzle, middle notes are sandalwood steeped black tea, bottom notes are brown sugar, soaked tapioca pearls. Yum. Musk and warm cream. It, I want to drink this. It smells that good. Now I want to order bubble tea. Damn it, Johanna. That one is probably going to go with the chocolate souffle in the body butter type of collection. So this one, this is the last one. I ordered eight. So this is Pampas Grass. Um, and this is, was from her August, um, August launch, right? So this is from our August launch and so she has like a desert collection that she's putting together and um, one of the scents that is in it is the musk in musk and I got that that was from I think her July collection and that that was really really nice it's very subtle scent so I'm really excited to smell this because one I I really do love pompous grass itself so I'm hoping this smells very nice, very subtle, and I can, I'm can. i hoping that I can probably use it in a room spray. Let's try it. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. I really love this. It's very earthy. It's very earthy. I have a tobacco and vanilla fragrance, and it kind of smells similar, but this is more earthy. And this, I would be very interested to try it in a fragrance in a room spray to see how that, how that smells, like spraying it. Because I also do reed diffusers and I feel like this would also be a really good diffuser because it just smells like earth. Okay, so the top notes are bergamot, bay leaves, black tea and fig. Middle notes are hay, tobacco, Spice patchouli, dusty pompous grass, bottom notes are cedarwood, vetiver, musk, and gold amber. I think this smells lovely and it smells complex. I feel like this would be very nice in wax too. Let's see. I have two ounces of this, so I can definitely test it in wax. Um... I don't know if I have enough to test and also read diffuser and we'll figure it out. But I will be testing these. 
<laughs> I'm I'm just obsessed. So, as a recap, this is from Porter Candice Pie. This is the pompous grass, bergamot sea salt, tiger lotus and ginkgo, sugar dates and bourbon, Scandinavian oak, brown sugar bubble tea, chocolate souffle, and a lemongrass, lemongrass green tea. So those are all of the eight fragrances that I just picked up. I'm really excited to test them out. So stay tuned. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see a video of me testing um, all the fragrances. All right. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, bye, guys. Yeah.